Compression is a tool used in audio for dynamic range control. It was originally invented to help control levels for broadcasting, as harsh peaks could adversely affect the output of an AM transmitter. It was also used in mastering for vinyl. Peaks needed to be controlled on the way to a cutting lathe to prevent groove overcutting on a master disc. Engineers wanted a way to keep the average signal level high without overloading the medium and without obvious unnatural artifacts when the compressor reduced the volume on loud parts. Audio engineers and musicians later repurposed these broadcasting and mastering tools because they were found to impart musical character to instruments. Nearly all compressors have these controls. The threshold is the point where the compressor starts working. The lower the threshold, the more effect the compressor has. The ratio is how strongly the compressor will reduce the signal over the threshold. The higher the ratio, the more a signal's level will be reduced. The attack is how long it takes for the gain reduction to kick in, and the release is how long it takes for the gain reduction to return to unity. Makeup gain turns the overall level back up, now that some of the louder peaks have been controlled. Compressor circuit design is often unintuitive and requires some magic to achieve the desired effect. In addition to those already mentioned, controls of a compressor might include envelope detection modes, hard and soft knee ratios, saturation, attack and release curve shapes, pre and post emphasis EQ, and sidechain processing in the form of filters or EQ. It's interesting to note that the most desirable compressors have so few controls. Rather than expose all of the variables that go into compressor circuitry, the designers only exposed the controls that were appropriate for the task at hand, and the internal paths were optimized for the job the device was marketed for. The most legendary compressors were actually designed to get engineers where they wanted to go with little hassle. Regardless of internal complexity, there are only a few different jobs that are often called upon in music mixing. In the design of Mixbus compressors, we chose to focus on the most common tasks that you might find when mixing a song. Leveling a track so the volume is more constant without having to micro-edit the track, extending the sustain of percussive sounds so that they have more body, and accentuating short peaks in a signal to make the sound poke through in a mix but interfere with other instruments less. Here are the controls for the compressor and mix bus. The mode button allows you to select a compressor character. We have leveler, compressor, or limiter. The threshold control is right next to the fader, and gain reduction is right by the meter. The speed knob tweaks the attack and release times, depending on mode, to achieve the desired sound. The makeup gain is right by the fader. We have input trim, fader, and makeup gain for complete gain staging right under our fingertips. The leveler mode is used for general gain writing, much like a finger on a fader. It has a very low ratio and is actually very transparent. You'll often see a need for this with vocalists that have a wide variation in level. It can help a vocal track cut through without the pumping sound of a high ratio compressor or limiter. Bass guitar is also another common opportunity to use a leveler. It maintains the musician's playing style while, at the same time, allowing notes to come through clearly in a mix. In normal operation, the leveler will almost show a constant gain reduction. By writing on the loud parts, the leveler will release and therefore raise the perception of the quieter phrases and syllables, so it can make a vocal track more intelligible. It brings the singer closer to you, similar to the sound and functionality of an LA-2A. In the leveler mode, the release time is fixed at a very fast release. The attack is also very fast, but we've allowed a small range of control over it. A too short attack time on low bass notes can cause distortion, so the speed control allows you to slow the attack down in the event that you use it on bass guitar. In most cases, the default speed setting is all you will ever need. The compressor mode is more aggressive with a higher ratio. Both the attack and release times are adjustable with one speed knob, which is designed for you to get a good sound quickly. The compressor has the widest range of attack and release times, so it can be used artistically. You can use it to extend the sustain of guitars, or add a pumping effect to a dance mix. It can also be used to glue a mix together, with a few dB of overall compression. The limiter mode is more aggressive yet, but with a few differences. Used very sparingly and with a fast speed setting, 
It can be used to tame short transients of a very dynamic track and bring the overall level up. Acoustic guitar is just one of the many instruments that can benefit from the use of the limiter. It also works well on drums where you can modify the attack and release of the transients. This mode has a limited gain depth, so it won't get completely carried away when the high ratio triggers on a high transient. It is, however, aggressive enough to be used as a broadcast style limiter for spoken word. Like the compressor mode, the limiter also has an adjustable attack and release time. With the attack and release set very fast, it is suitable for applying peak limiting to your master bus, which then allows you to raise the overall volume of the mix with the makeup gain control. Tape saturation is actually also considered to be a form of compression, but we will save it for a future episode of Mix Tips. You'll come to learn why it's important that each mix bus feeds into this soft clipping effect. For a number of years, in-the-box mix engineers have been trying to match the sound of a digital mix to some of their favorite analog mixes of the 70s and 80s. The combination of EQ, channel compression, and tape saturation in Mixbus helps you achieve this much sought-after sound that has nearly been lost in an age of sterile, lifeless mixes. <laughs> 